I have heard stories and rumors of something sinister happening in South Africa. And they're bordering on genocide now. They've been attacked. They are being cleansed from the land. A genocide against the white population ready to erupt into an all-out race war. Is there a white genocide happening in South Africa? The far right in the US, Canada and Europe think that there's a widespread campaign of race-based killings of white farmers and land seizures. And even Donald Trump is tweeting about it. The problem? The story of white genocide is actually a myth. South Africa has one of the highest murder rates in the world. Its government says that the farm attacks are just part of a greater violent crime problem, and there's no reliable data to suggest that white farmers are targeted more than anyone else. So while white farmers have historically been the victims of attacks, and while the murders have been brutal, it's not clear that they are racially motivated. Analysts suggest that farm murders happen because farmers are seen as wealthy, easy targets, and the isolation of farmlands delay police response times and make it more difficult to catch the attackers. In fact, white South Africans are less likely to be murdered than any other racial group in the country, and farm attacks are actually decreasing. 47 farm murders were recorded in 2017, down from 67 the year before, and from 153 in 1997. So how has talk of white genocide in South Africa spread abroad if it's fake? The spotlight is on South African farms because of the government's land reform measures, which are intended to address racial inequality by redistributing land from white farmers to black farmers who are barred from owning them during apartheid. Two Afrikaner organizations in South Africa, Afroforum and the Suid Landers, are opposed to the land reform and are feeding the myth of white genocide through digital campaigns, targeted at international audiences. In 2017, Simon Roche, a member of the Suid Landers, a white nationalist survivalist group preparing for a violent race war, spent the year traveling to alt-right conferences in the US and made guest appearances on a number of podcasts. Soon after, the story of the persecution of white farmers in South Africa started being picked up by more popular far-right figures like Ann Coulter, Katie Hopkins, and Lauren Southern. Even Fox News' Tucker Carlson and Russia's RT began talking about it. In March 2017, Australia's hard-right home affairs minister, Peter Dutton, floated a plan to fast-track visas for white farmers. Rallies were held in Australian cities in support of the persecuted white farmers. But why has the far right in the West been so obsessed with a conspiracy so far beyond its borders? The idea of white genocide has actually been around since the 1990s when neo-Nazi author David Lane mentioned it in his writings. He claimed that government policies which encourage multiculturalism and immigration in Western countries were actually designed to destroy white culture and would eventually lead to making white people extinct. The idea took hold and is peddled by alt-right figures from all around the world. The white genocide is even mentioned in a manifesto by Norwegian far-right terrorist Anders Breivik who killed 77 people in Norway in 2011, and by American Dylan Roof, who killed nine churchgoers in South Carolina in 2015. Brian Levin, a professor at California State University of San Bernardino, who studies hate groups, said, the narrative of white genocide has been central to the white nationalist movement across the globe, and it's effective to inform white audiences in Europe and North America of a very real plot to remove or annihilate them, by citing the story of white genocide in South Africa as a warning of what could happen when white minorities lose control of their countries. Is the far right using conspiracy about white farmers in South Africa to make the threat of a white genocide in the West more real?